Hi everyone, I am Brian Robinson and I'm presenting online learning for orientation estimation during translation in an insect ring attractor network. Navigating complex environments is a challenging computational task, which involves estimating an orientation or heading direction. Ring attractor network models have been used as a theoretical basis for understanding calculating heading direction, where individual neurons have preferred orientations. And heading direction is represented at a population level with a stable equilibrium state that we'll refer to here as an activity bump. For updating a heading direction estimate when turning, this bump needs to move. In network models, neurons encoding angular velocity can shift this bump, and neurons encoding visual cues can move the bump based on landmark features. Theoretical work for ring attractor networks for heading direction were originally proposed for mammals, but there has been recent exciting experimental work in the fly where ring attractor dynamics for heading direction encoding have been observed in the protocerebral bridge and the ellipsoid body. A benefit of the fly as a model system to understand this computation is also that the detailed connectivity at the individual cell type level is stereotyped and has been well characterized. Furthermore, recent experimental evidence supports online learning at specific neuron types to learn the mapping of visual cues in an environment. There have been a wide range of excellent experimental modeling studies to understand the circuit. However, several research questions remain to understand how the circuit can support heading direction estimation in complex environments. First of all, there's the question of how well the circuit with observed cell type connectivity performs with online learning. At the center of our analysis is how online learning can work with changing position in an environment, where the relative orientation of visual cues changes throughout the environment. Finally, we investigate what potential advantages there may be over existing robotic approaches and evaluate an insect network model on data we collect from a robotic platform. In our modeling approach, we utilize cell types observed in the insect protocerebral bridge and ellipsoid body. These neurons are organized by hemisphere in the procerebral bridge. The within hemisphere connections for the excitatory neurons are shown here, with a population of EPG neurons in orange encoding heading direction, PEN neurons in blue and yellow encode positive and negative angular velocities, which shifts this bump of activity. Ring neurons in purple encode visual features, which connect to EPG neurons in a learnable weight matrix. This weight matrix is updated with a Hebbian learning rule that associates coactive visual encoding neurons and EPG neurons. Modeling all neurons as leaky immigrate and fire units, we perform a series of simulations and analyses. To start with, we investigate how the cell type connectivity constraint network performs in the simplest case of rotation. We simulate visual input with three visual cues at different distances. In our model, the simulated visual field is 270 degrees, and a population of visual encoding neurons have tiled receptive fields for each of the different visual cues. With rotation, the bump of activity moves as the orientation changes. The orientation can be decoded from this bump of activity, which we compare for several network variants to better understand this network. First, in orange, is when there are no visual feature inputs and the orientation estimate is based on angular integration only. In green, the network incorporates visual features utilizing visual input weights that are optimized offline. You can see the offline optimized weights here where the x-axis indexes the visual input feature for each visual cue and the y-axis indexes the EPG neuron for each hemisphere. The weights have a banded structure with high values linking visual cues at different relative angles with EPG neurons of corresponding preferred orientation. In blue, the network incorporates visual features and learns the visual input weights online with Hebbian learning. You can see here how a set of random initialized weights is updated over time where the same banded structure emerges. What we find is that with the Hebbian weight update in blue here, orientation error is reduced in a single rotation as compared to the angular velocity only case in orange. As expected, the offline optimized set of weights has the lowest error. We do find though that the learned weights become correlated with the offline optimi 
optimize weights over time. Next, we investigate the network performance with translation, where the position changes over time. The trajectory over time is in black, along with colored position estimates with different network variants. Again, with online learning, orientation estimation is improved after a single trajectory compared to angular velocity integration only, with larger errors than the offline optimized weights. We see the banded structure in the offline optimized weights and online learned weights. However, the offline optimized weights preferentially ignores the close landmark, where this banded structure is less apparent for the red visual cube. This makes sense where the landmarks that are far away are more consistent over time. Upon further analysis of the learning rule from an optimization perspective, we find that a purely Hebbian rule does not minimize the heading direction estimation error. We formulate a new online learning rule which does minimize the estima this estimation error. This learning rule is a function of input current from multiple neurons and not only as a function of pre- and postsynaptic activity. As opposed to a purely Hebbian rule, this rule based on the error, we would predict experimentally that the addition of new landmarks after learning should be effectively ignored. Finally, we translate this network to data we collect from a robotic platform and demonstrate orientation estimation with online learning. Existing robotic approaches for heading direction estimation include SLAM, which is power intensive to run, which performs online map building and loop closure. Lower power approaches such as visual inertial odometry do not perform online learning and loop closure. The insect connectivity constraint network investigated here performs online learning and has only 141 neurons, which has potential for power savings and resource efficiency for neuromorphic implementations. I am presenting today on the behalf of our larger team, which I want to acknowledge here, as well as our funding sources. I also want to mention that the manuscript preprint, which has all the details, is available online, and I look forward to answering any questions you have throughout the conference.